ਸ੍ਰੀਕਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੰਜ ਦਰਿਆਵਾਂ ਦੀ ਧਰਤੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਧਰਤੀ ਦੀ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਪੁਰਾਣੀ ਤੇ ਅਲੀਸ਼ਾਨ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਧਰਤੀ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਵੱਡੇ ਜੀਦਾਰ ਆਲਾ ਤੇ ਖਾਲਸ ਖੁਰਾਕਾ ਖਾਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਸ਼ਾਨ ਫੂਡਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਸਰਵਡ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਡਿਸਕਵਰ ਦ ਸੀਕ੍ਰੇਟਸ ਆਫ ਐਂਸ਼ੀਅੰਟ ਇਨਗ੍ਰੀਡੀਐਂਟਸ ਦ ਐਕਸਕਲੂਸਿਵ ਕੁਲਨਰੀ ਜਰਨੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕਲਚਰਸ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕੁਜ਼ੀਨਸ ਵਨ ਸ਼ੋ ਸ਼ਾਨ ਫੂਡਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਸ so welcome to a brand new episode of shan foods presents served and i'm your host vanun mala today we have made all you food lovers culinary dream come true we have done the research we have done the traveling and we have found the master chef because we are discovering the land which is so special and rich in culture and history yes we are talking about punjab punjab the land of our sacred river the land of rich history and tradition the region is renowned for the harmandir sahib which the world recognizes as the golden temple Punjab is known for its people, vibrant, brave and full of life. This is Punjab. And now it's time to get some real information on the real taste of Punjab and to help us with that we have none other than the real food connoisseur Mr Sultan Sikandar welcome to our show sir so he's going to give us some more information on Punjabi cuisine so to begin with what is Punjabi cuisine and give us some more information on that it is very rich agricultural based it has vibrant people very energetic strong uh, very happy go lucky people full of life enthusiasm they are the real champions who are always fun loving uh their food reflects the same so they have they have vibrant dishes uh, in their cooking and their cuisine well uh, breakfast in punjab is considered to be very elaborate and there are a lot of dishes in the punjabi breakfast so give us some more information on that See Punjab has to be divided into rural areas and the uh, urban areas. The urban areas uh, is different. So the rural areas where you have the agriculture is the predominant uh, or preoccupation. There you have the saag and the makkai ki roti and butter because they all have livestock, they have you know fruits and gardens and agriculture so they would have a lot of these uh, parathas there and that would be their traditional everyday uh, breakfast which they take to the to their uh, to their fields and they would have lassi with it you know uh, yeah. it's a yogurt drink you know they churn them the butter out and they uh, give you the the other part of it to drink if you talk about the urban areas the urban areas which has evolved in the last couple of years is they have mud chole or just chole that's just, just chanas you know picked chickpeas cooked on a s- slow heat for a long time and they have kulchas and bakar khanis so the kulcha and the chana is a favorite for the urban areas and you would have the bakar khani with it bakar? bakar khani is like a pastry puff pastry oh, okay. and then in certain other segments you would find uh, the paya the trotters uh, which is very very famous like especially in winter everybody would have paya uh, with kulcha or naan and or uh, nahari which is slow cooked beef shank curry and that is again a very popular uh, you know breakfast the reason both urban and uh, rural areas of punjab have a larger breakfast is because they are going into the fields to work and they need to have a substantial amount of uh, large breakfast to carry on till uh, say midday or or later of the midday so traditionally they they are heavy eaters 
that really justifies why they have to have heavy breakfast. And they're strong people. Absolutely. <laughs> well, um, the Punjabi cuisine of Pakistan and the Punjabi cuisine of uh, India, although they are like very close to each other, but in terms of cuisine, how different are they? In the Indian part of Punjab, uh, many things are similar, but a distinct feature in Indian Punjab is the tandoori cooking style, which is uh, a hallmark of Indian side of Punjab. And they have evolved it now. Everything which is now put in, in an oven, a clay oven or tandoor, is actually originating from Punjab. So this is, I think, predominantly uh, different. Also, I would think that uh, in, in the Pakistani Punjab, a lot of asli ghee is used uh, and is used, you know, quite a lot compared to the Indian part where I think the oil is less, is, is used less. So when you talk about a typical Punjabi thali, what are the dishes that are there in it? The main item in the, in, in the last couple of years has become biryani, but it used to be pilau. Pilau is pilaf. And that was meat based, uh, you know, stock with rice. And that was the main ingredient, main dish of any party or any uh, celebration. Also, they used to have what is called palak gosh, which is uh, from the Kashmiri origin, the Amritsar origin, uh, which is slow cooked uh, spinach and meat. And the shorba, shorba is anything, you can have a chicken shorba which is thin gravy, uh, chicken or, or mutton. And of course, barbecues, the boti, the, the, the different kind of uh, mutton uh, or, or small birds, what do you call them, sparrows, uh, you know, barbecue. Quail. Quail, yes, all of these. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Sultan. Well, now it's time to move on to a second segment, which is from the chef's kitchen, but on the other side of the break. Stay tuned to Sean Foods Presents, Serve. Sean Foods presents So In Punjab, the key to truly stunning food is their utter simplicity. Uncomplicated, hearty and exuberant. This is Punjab. And with this, it's time now to move on to a second segment which is From the Chef's Kitchen. Now we are experiencing the desi tarka of Punjab with the team of Namaste Restaurant and with me I have Giselle and Chef Ajay. Welcome to our show. Thank you. So my first question would be to Giselle about this restaurant. So tell us something about Namaste. What's it all about? Namaste is the Indian fine dine restaurant where we try and give a complete experience to all our guests of the Indian hospitality, Indian food and to add to it we also have live Indian music as well as dance. So at Namaste, it's the complete Indian hospitality experience. Thank you so much for hosting us today. And would like to know that apart from this beautiful Punjabi culture that we are experiencing today, what cuisine do we have in, in this restaurant? So as the name goes, Namaste, the taste of India, our menu tries to bring to our guests a complete Indian experience. So we have delicacies from all over India. Apart from that, we also serve Chinese and our chefs are pretty brilliant when it comes to Maharashtrian cuisine as well. So let me quickly find out from Chef Ajay that what are we cooking today? Today what are we going to cook? We are Punjabi Dal Makhni today. Punjabi Dal Makhni, awesome. So let's quickly find out what are the ingredients in this. What are we going to add? We are going to add Dal Dal, Garam Masala, Kasturi Methi, Kitchen King. Kitchen King Masala? Yeah. Jira Powder, Turmeric Powder, Coriander powder, chilli powder, salt, garlic, onion, julienne ginger, butter, tomato puree, cream, milk, dhania. Brilliant! So these are the ingredients of Punjabi dal makhani. So without wasting any further time, let's just move on to the kitchens of Namaste restaurant and find out how to make dal makhani. So we're all excited to learn this amazing recipe of Punjabi dal makhani. So let me quickly ask chef, आज सबसे पहले इसमें हम क्या करेंगे? आज हम पंजाबी दाल मखने के लिए पूरी दाल लेंगे, इसको चार घंटे भिगो के रखेंगे, इसमें टर्मिनल पर बिनिगर से धोके इसको बॉईल करेंगे। Okay, so we are firstly washing this dal with turmeric and vinegar. 
तो वट इज द रीजन इसका हम लोग विनेगर क्यों डाले इसमें विनेगर जितना इसके अंदर गंदे की हो सब पूरा निकल जाएगा ओके सो बेसिकली टू वॉश आउट द इम्प्योरिटीज ऑफ द लेंटिल्स वी आर वॉशिंग इट विथ टर्मरिक एंड विनेगर पैन को गर्म होने देंगे गरम होने का इसमें गार्लिक डालेंगे गोल्डन ब्राउन होने के बाद इसमें ऑनियन डालेंगे Okay, so it's time now for the tomato puree. Yeah. Namak saad anusar. And some chili powder. किचन किंग किचन किंग मसाला हाफ टी स्पून गरम मसाला हाफ टी स्पून क्यूमन पाउडर हाफ टी स्पून कोरिंडा पाउडर Well, it's time now for the boiled udad dal to go into the pan. तीन से चार मिनट तक पकाएंगे वन सर्वे स्पून क्रीम लाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर द बटर टू गो इन जैसे पंजाबी खाने की बात करें एंड वी डोंट पुट बटर एंड मलाई एंड क्रीम ऐसे तो कभी हो नहीं सकता सो इट्स टाइम नाउ फॉर ऑल द रिच थिंग्स टू गो इनटू आवर डिश सो नाउ आवर दाल ऑलमोस्ट सीम्स टू बी रेडी So we are garnishing it with julian ginger, okay. orange leaves, and now a Punjabi dal makhani is ready to serve. Shan Fruits presents. So, 
Welcome back after the break. You're watching Shan Foods Presents Served with me, Rohan Manmala. Well, it's always fun to see someone being pleasantly surprised. And in today's segment, which is our lunch on us, we are surprising a pleasant and charming personality who comes all the way from the heart of South America. Who is that guest? Let's find out. Our guest for today is Lola Ariola. Coming all the way from Buenos Aires, Argentina, Lula is a jazz and rock vocalist. Her dream is to share stage with musicians around the world. And we are right now with our lovely guest for this week, the very charming lady all the way from Argentina. Welcome to our show, Lola Ariola. Thank you so much. How are you today? Very good. Thank you so much. And you? So Lula, you come all the way from Argentina. So tell us something more about the Argentinian culture and food. What's it all about? Uh, well, Argentinian culture, we are full of tango and asado. As we eat that, we eat beef and meat. Asado. Asado. Okay. Yes. What is that? It's meat, but we cook it uh, with wood and fire. Okay. Yes. So basically, you belong to the music industry. So tell us something more about that. How did that happen? I started when I was very young. I studied for 10 years almost. I uh, started playing guitar and after that singing. I, I play jazz, blues, rock, um, reggae music, all styles. Your passion for music and then the whole transition to the aviation industry for which you're working right now in the UAE. Yes. How did that happen? Well, actually I decided to come to Dubai and have this job because it's experience to traveling around the world and meeting new people, new experiences to film me and make my own songs. Oh, that's brilliant. So it's quite fortunate that you get to experience and discover so many new cultures and places. So which is your favorite destination? Uh, I like um, Vienna because the classic Austria. music, Beautiful. yes. Um, uh, nice and Brazil. Wow. South America That's for nice. me is my favorite. <laughs> Absolutely. So coming back to Indian food, we'd like to know, did you ever try out Indian food before? Yes, I tried before, but not Punjabi. And not Punjabi no. food. So I hope you're excited for Punjabi yes, food. Yes, I'm very excited. So Lola is all excited to try out Punjabi cuisine and so are we. So let's have a look at what is in our today's menu. To begin with, I'll be serving you this amazing dal makhani, the Punjabi dal makhani which I cooked for you today. Well, I must say the chef did absolute justice to this Punjabi dal makhani. What do you think? It's very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you get similar kind of spicy things in Argentina as well? Mm, no. No, it's less of spicy. Less Actually, spicy. it's less of spicy, yeah. Okay. Well, Indian food generally is quite spicy, but then Punjabi, especially, um, it's not very spicy compared to the other. Mm -hmm. foods that we have and that's because the usage of um, they use a lot of uh, milk and and you know cream and butter yes. in their food which kind of subsides the whole spice level yes yes i know yes. that so after having this amazing punjabi meal let me just quickly ask lola what do you think about today's food it was amazing very good and which one was your favorite item i don't know the name if it's probably but dal makani absolutely dal makani the one which we made in our kitchen today so i'm very glad that you liked it Thank and our final question for lola is would you be trying out punjabi food again for sure i would come back okay lola says she's come back so our purpose is done she loved punjabi food and would definitely like to thank you so much for your time thank today. you thank you for inviting me and if you want a chance to come here and try out this authentic Punjabi experience, all you need to do is answer this simple question and win. Our guest on today's lunch on our segment comes from which country? SMS your namespace answer to 6565 and win a copper meal voucher courtesy Namaste Restaurant, Holiday Inn, Vardabai. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching today's amazing episode of Shan Foods Presents Served. I promise you to get you more on this culinary front next week. So until then, this is your host Ronan Mala saying goodbye and namaste. <laughs>